everyone, it's Jojo, and I'm very excited to bring you this vintage thrift haul video today. Last week, I had one of the best thrifting weeks I've had ever. I was very excited about the things I found, and actually, three of the items were on my wish list, so I'm very happy about that. I've had a lot of good luck lately um, finding things that I've been looking for for a while, so... Very exciting week for me. Last week was perfect, which is good because I promised my husband I would slow down on all the thrifting just because we got Christmas to pay for coming up and um, I'm going to have to switch out all this stuff anyway for Christmas, so where am I going to put it, right? So I wanted to get go ahead and make this video so I can show you everything that I found. Um, most of them still have the stickers left on it. A couple don't from the antique store just because um, they take all their tags off. So everything you see here on the table, I found at three different Goodwills and then one antique store. And I just happened to go to a Goodwill that was out of town, and they had a large like antique mall there, and that's how I ended up at the antique store, um, because I went to the Goodwill first. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you the things that I found. This tray I'm very excited about. If you know, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I love... Um, vintage barware and I really love this tray. It is dirty, it definitely needs cleaned up. I paid $1.99 for it, but I loved how it had um, these graphics. I'm not sure about that guy's pants. I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. <laughs> Those, I don't know, that was interesting. But I love the graphic on it and I love how it had the um, little recipes for the mixed drinks on it. So just a little cleaning up, it was a nice size tray. So I was very excited to find that. Then I found a couple additional trays. These were at a different Goodwill and I paid a dollar a piece, but I love that they were such a tiny little um, snack size. And actually I think I'm gonna put these on my wall also that I've been working on, my collage wall. I thought they'd be perfect because I put the bigger metal trays that I got for my birthday on it. And they have the little flowers on it. Who knows? We'll see. Otherwise, I can't see using these for anything else. But I found this cookie jar. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. He is. He does have a little paint missing off of him, which I think somebody repainted this to beginning to begin with anyway when I bought it, because the paint feels different like than the glazed paint. Um, the part that's chipped off here and like a little on his mouth, and the little wheels little pig with a skateboard and he has like a hard hat on and I paid $4.99 for him but he definitely screams like 1950s to me so I have a strawberry like cookie jar a smaller about that size on my counter and I think I'm gonna replace it with this little pig because he's so cute this is one of the items that was on my wish list it is a Bartlett Collins cookie jar is it the turquoise color and that's what I had been looking for I actually had saved this to my searches on eBay, but I just, you know, it was something I didn't have to have. I just had it if it had a good price to it. And I found this. I had made several rounds in the Goodwill. I usually go to the housewares around like one time, two times, maybe three times if I see that they're bringing out new things. And I'm glad I did because I missed this. This was on the bottom shelf. And I paid $4.99 for it also, and it was wrapped up in saran wrap to keep the lid on. No chips or cracks or anything in it. And um, some of the paint is missing, but it's in really great shape. I was so excited to find that, and I love the bright colors, and it definitely matches my kitchen. <clears throat> Excuse me. So at the antique store, I found these two Pyrex, pink Pyrex. And honestly, I had never even seen them in person before. I saw them online. They're like a refrigerator dish. But antique stores usually run quite high. So I looked at the tag not thinking that I would get them at all because I know they can be quite pricey. This one was $10 and this one was $15, which was a steal because the, the bigger one here, it could sell like $65. And then this one could be like $40. So, I mean, $100 up for $25, bucks, amazing. And my son actually bought them for me for Christmas. So I am over the moon excited. I could not believe that I found those at an antique store for that price. Crazy. 
And then at the same antique store, I bought all of these cards. These are so cool. I could actually do an entire video on just these cards. I counted them, 102 of them that I got. And they are just so neat. And they're from the 1940s. And how I know that is um, there is actually a birth announcement. It said 1940. And there's a party, like a party invitation here. It's in 1942. But they're so cute. And like the little tag on here. Um, and there actually was a couple Hallmark that were marked 1938 and 1939. But I absolutely, like they all are signed. There's only about, out of all of these cards, maybe four or five at the most that actually that aren't signed. But look at this one. Happy birthday. I got up bright and early to do my little duty, and here she is sitting on the chamber pot. I mean, I had to wish you a happy birthday. That's the beauty. So cute. I mean, I could go on and on. These are so cool. Um, some of the Christmas cards are mid-century, um, 50s and 60s, because those are dated, but all the other ones are from the late 30s, early 40s, and there is a lot. So I paid... Three of them were $2 a piece. They had them in packages like this. Um, isn't it cute? Um, $2 a piece and then one a moment, and I can't remember which one, I think was three fifty. So I figured, wow, that's amazing because sometimes people sell like one card for, you know, seven, eight bucks. So very cute. I found this federal decanter and this was $1.99 and I actually had just just enough space to put this up with my juice jars in my cabinet and on it it says handy serve decanter federal and I was it's perfect if it's right there and I have no more room for the juice jars that's it and I found this little picture it's a hand painted I assume hand painted um, flower picture not very big and it was a dollar twenty nine it's frosted I found this apron actually a few weeks ago at the Goodwill and passed it up just because I thought, why do I need another apron? Because I have so many right now. But um, the day I went, it was actually half off because the blue tags were all half off. So I paid a dollar for it. So I went ahead and got it. And it's just got one pocket, uh, floral pocket, and that's it. But it was simple and I thought it was cute. So, you know, whether I keep it or resell it, I thought a dollar was a good deal for that. And then there is a table runner that I got. Uh, I'm not sure if it's vintage or not, but I really like the print on it. It's definitely Christmas. It has little hollies on it. And let's see if I left. I think I left the tag on it. Here it is. It was $1.99. And then I got this tablecloth. It's a red and white. It looks like a picnic tablecloth, but it does have like a little Dutch design in it. And it was $1.59, which was a great deal for a vintage tablecloth. And then the last thing I want to show you is this awesome chenille bedspread. It's light yellow. It also came from a Goodwill store. What is so unique and cool about this is if you've ever picked up a vintage chenille bedspread, a lot of them can be really, really thin. And that's why I actually just recently switched mine on the bed because mine was a very thin one. But whoever had this, let me see if I can show you, sewed a thick, like, cotton sheet to it, and then they put these little buttons on it. So cute, and uh, what a great idea. So now, and this is no holes, no stains, I did wash the whole thing, um, it is like a nice, thick bedspread, and you could use it for a blanket, it's great. I put it on our bed, I'm going to guess this is more of a twin size, is not real large in size, but I love it. And I thought, what a great idea. And honestly, chenille sometimes is so delicate to wash that this made it, uh, it kind of just reinforced the blanket itself, the spread itself. So I love that idea. And that one I paid, I think I paid, uh, gosh, I did take the tags off this one. I want to say I paid $8.00. Because it was a little bit higher, well, a lot of bit higher than some of their other blankets, but it was a steal for a chenille, chenille, so I thought, oh, we'll go ahead and get it. Oh, you know what? And the last thing, I almost forgot. I got this tablecloth, too, that's on my table, and I paid $2 for it. When I just zoomed down the camera on it, I 
it just made me remember. It's like a daisy tablecloth, and this is like a sheer lace. I doubled it because it was too long for my table, which is nice because it actually makes it uh, not so see-through. But I looked this up. I actually was able to find this one online, and it said it was from the 70s. But I love the pretty yellow bright color to it. All that's going to change here pretty soon when I do my Christmas decorations and everything. But I thought I'd go ahead and put it on because I like the color. So anyway, that is everything I found last week at the thrift store. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I am still trying to get over my colds, so my voice, I'm sure, is kind of scratchy in it. But I, again, just wanted to make the video so I could share everything with you guys. If you liked everything that I found, just please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you everyone for watching. Take care.